Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're using the Madame Andorra uh, cards to be able to give you your monthly oracle card guidance for August 2023. So I'm really looking forward to doing this reading for you today and I want you to go ahead and choose option one, two or three and you can go directly to your reading. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the cards and begin with option one. So for those of you who've chosen option number one, we are asking what is the monthly oracle guidance for the month of August So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we have the queen, the knight, the wolf and the green man. And I think that this month is going to be an important month for you in terms of receiving a message from someone who you might not be sure what their true intentions are. And but ultimately it works out well. So I feel that as you begin the month of August, you have quite a lot going for you. You're feeling quite vibrant, quite strong, quite energetic like you're able to do quite a lot in your life and what is genuinely required from you is to be able to just make a um, a path for you to follow and to be able to channel your energy correctly and so that is very much the energy for the first week of August it is to decide the direction in which you're going to go to I see as the second week of August comes around there is some kind of communication that reaches you which makes you um, quite happy and it feels as if finally you've received something that you've been waiting for for a very long time. It is something where you feel that perhaps you have overcome something that you thought would never come to be or you've overcome something that's quite hard in your life that perhaps you've been working at for a very long time. So it feels to me like the second week of August or it can differ for some of you. It could be the end of the first week of August or the beginning of the third week of August where there is some kind of change in your life that is initiated largely due to the uh, the information coming to you from some other source. There might be somebody else involved here, a particular person, or it could be an institution, it could be uh, some news coming to you from some source. It couldn't, doesn't have to be one person, it could be something that perhaps you've been waiting for from the government or some, for some from some official um, source. And it could be that you receive some documentation or just an email or just a letter by post or even just a text message at, uh, for some of you where you receive some information that you've been waiting for for a very long time, which you thought might not come to be or that you might have even considered would never be at certain moments of your life. And as you enter the third week of August, there is a, some kind of doubt that creeps into your mind as to the uh, efficacy of this information that you've received just before. So I think that as you enter week three, it's important for you to think about, well, to remain positive and not let doubt creep into your mind, but to be careful regardless and to be more wary uh, of what is coming towards you. I think also there's a chance that you may believe that what comes to you in the second week is more than what you what what you what it really is and so as you come into the work, work week three of August you're going to find that maybe it's been tempering down for you and you understand uh, what it is that is really being communicated to you in the second week of August it might be that there is still some work to be done there there might be some 
a long way to go still, but a breakthrough has been made here in the second week of August. I think that in the week three, there's some degree of this energy that you have um, that you've started the month with, which is heightened and um, it's like you're on high alert or you're being really vigilant uh, as a result of the the information that you've received and the action that you will need to take as a result of the information you've received. As you come to the end of August, you're going to find that things are working very well in your favor. There's a, It's a fertile time and you have your in alignment with the the universe with nature and that things are going according to plan you might have been a bit wary about how you, what action you can take here at the end of august but everything works out and you can actually it can actually come to fruition in the way that you need to at the end of august you might be able to receive a certain degree of monitoring gain that you weren't able to receive previously or which you might have not begun the month with it might be that um, you've had to take certain action in the month to be able to maintain or uh, ensure that you have this monetary gain at the end of August but as I see you coming to the end of August you are able to make headway in a way that you might not have felt that you can do in August. Now, another message here is that you could be having guests uh, coming to you in the second week of of August. You may be needing to um, to step back or be a bit reserved in the third week of August. Uh, it could be that you begin the month with a, a great deal of energy, but that energy wanes as you get to the the third week of August, and it. Uh, it comes back again, it rebirths itself at the end of August. So I feel that regardless, uh, August is going to be a very interesting month for you. You're going to be receiving information or knowledge or something that you've been waiting for, perhaps guests, for a very, very long time. And um, you are going to celebrate that as well as end the month on a very high note and uh, where you're feeling quite prosperous, quite, quite abundant, quite fertile and there's a lot to be looked forward to as you go into September. All right, I'm going to leave it there and uh, for those of you who chosen option number one, have a fantastic August ahead and many, many blessings to you all. And for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we're asking, what can we expect in the month of August 2023? What can we expect in the month of August Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we have the chalice, the talisman, the stars, and the chimera. So uh, here it, sh it shows me that you're having a really interesting month energetically in August. And the card of the chalice starts off with rejuvenation and fulfillment. So you may begin August with a feeling that you need to give yourself something that is rest, that it might be that you're finally stopping to be able to ensure that your needs are being met. You're stopping to give yourself what it is that you require and what it is that will bring you at peace and bring you to a state of being able to rejuvenate yourself. So perhaps you're needing rest at this time, that you're finally allowing yourself to receive the love that you uh, require and need in your life. There is something that you thought was not possible that you are now able to give yourself, okay? So I see you starting off the month not on a very energetic note, but perhaps quite uh, slowly building up towards something, getting a lot of rest, uh, looking after your dietary needs, looking after your joy, taking good care of yourself and being able to give yourself a, a degree of fulfillment and bliss that has been evading you for some time. And now I see that as you uh, 
move into the week of August, you have a little bit more energy in order to be able to create things. You have a more like a magician energy where you're able to create things for yourselves, manifest what it is that you need. And uh, it seems that success is guaranteed here. The card caption reads, you are destined to succeed. I feel also that uh, there could be something that you're giving to another or something that you're receiving from another, which allows you to have a certain degree of luck activated in your life or unlocked in your life. And uh, you are, it brings you blessings. And this allows you to uh, go forth knowing that you can create whatever it is in your life that you need. I feel also that in this uh, week of August, w uh, the first week of August, when you are able to give yourself something that you might not have given yourself previously, you are able to tap deeper into your spirituality and tap deeper into what it is that you need to do for yourself and you can create literally a talisman that you keep on you and you carry with you which is imbued with protection and uh, good health blessings luck and all the good things in your life that you uh, would like to arrive at your doorstep and I think here as we move into the week three of August it could be that some of you are taking a journey. It could be that some of you are traveling. Perhaps you have actually traveled somewhere before, uh, somewhere. Perhaps you're returning to a place that you have traveled to or you've come from. And it's the, this uh, journey is well um, aspected, meaning that you will actually gain quite a lot from it. So you might be looking at this journey and thinking, OK, it's going to cost me this that and that but when you are on that journey you're going to find that all of you all of that will be rewarded and will be repaid back and so there's a good chance that you can go on this journey and uh it will not deplete you but will actually um bring more abundance into your life i think as you come to the end of august it's important to ensure that you're not um, daydreaming and getting lost in your daydreams uh, and um, getting lost in your imagination rather than in reality. It's important to take the the success and the, the goodness that has been cultivated in the first three weeks of August and to be able to help it to, to channel itself and to uh, to plant itself in your life so that it can bring more growth in your life as you go into the week four of August and as you move into September. So I think that it's important as you gain in August to be able to bank that so that you can actually carry that forward in the month of September and through the rest of August. I think that, um, uh, August looks like a really wonderful month for you. It looks like something which uh, is, it brings you quite a lot. It it gives you, you are able to give yourself quite a lot and you are gifted quite a lot. So I think here, and you have the support of the universe, you have the support of, of the world. And I think that you can do anything that you require and that you'd like to do in the month of August. And it's really up to you to decide what you do. The only thing I would say is that as you come to the end of the month, just ensure that you don't imagine things that are not really there or get carried away with your imagination in that you expect certain things that may not come to fruition as you expect them to come to fruition and may not come to fruition right in the month of August, but perhaps at a later date. And I'm going to put this out there and say that for some of you, it'll come to fruition in October. OK, so there is a quite a lot to look forward to here. August for you is very much about planting the seeds. But in order to do that, you need to rejuvenate yourself. You need to be able to restore yourself from whatever else you've been busy with and bring yourself into a certain equilibrium in order to be able to gain what the blessings of the universe or the, yeah, all the the joys of the universe and to be able to replant them, re, um, yeah, just put that into a bank and to be able to grow for you in order for you to uh, um, 
to be able to uh, receive more of that in the future. All right. So good luck as you go ahead in August and may you have a fantastic month full of growth and well-being. And um, yes, may you have many, many blessings with that. OK, wishing you all very well and have a fantastic August. And so for those of you who've chosen the option number three, we're asking what is it that we need to know for you for your monthly Oracle card guidance for the month of August Okay, so for those of you who've chosen option number three, there's a lot going on for you in terms of love and in terms of relations in the month of August um, 2023. So what I see here is that you have quite a lot of people who are drawn to you, attracted to you, and you have quite a few options. And it's up to you to decide where it is that you're going. Now, I do see that you are uh, thinking about one particular person and or one particular idea and that is something that you are uh, loyal to and you are committed to. But it might be that there's somebody else or some other offers that come into play that lead you astray. Now, this is for the whole month of August. It might be that you are um, meeting somebody who you find attractive and you decide to go with them, even though you have been waiting for somebody else to come into your life. Uh, it could be that you have been waiting for a very long time to do a particular course or to be accepted at a particular institution or to get a particular type of job. And because you've been waiting and you get impatient and something else comes up that's more short term, that's more attractive at a given moment because of its availability, you give in to that and then you find that as you enter the latter part of August, uh, specifically the third week of August, that you receive information either from this love that you've been awaiting for, for or from a particular job offer or an institution where you are invited to be a part of some type of study or some path or some way of going forward. Now, uh, I think that uh, for those of you who that doesn't resonate with, I think that what's going to come for you in, in August is a sense of energy and life around areas of your life that you might have put to rest or have might, might have been quite sedate in the last few years. And you're going to find a renewed passion uh, in your life, perhaps when it comes to a particular type of activity, or it could be with regard to people, or it could be with regard to simply life. You have a new energy that's being breathed into you and you are feeling quite excited about it. And I think that this excitement and this kind of energy could lead you to uh, behave in ways that is unusual for you or not typical of you. And this is something that you need to simply be aware of. I don't think that you necessarily need to be worried about anything. I think you will have complete uh, control over the situation. The cards here read seduction, passion and romance wait. And so it feels to me that there's definitely love in the on the horizon for you. But it might be that you have people who are interested in you that are around you right now. And it might be that you are tempted to um, to participate in a in a love relationship, even though you might be looking for something quite different from that from life itself. And. Uh, there's definitely a chance for you to go ahead and do that. For some of you, it might be that you have 
um, you might extend your spending habits or you could be, it could be that you've spent quite a lot in the last few months. And then as you enter August, uh, there's the temptation to spend more. And um, I think regardless, you won't be in a difficult position. I think that um, there are certain changes coming into your life as you enter the latter part of August. And uh, there are some things that you can put into place that will allow you to bring in greater revenue, but also some some other uh, connections that you might make, some particular kind of um, networking that you could do that would allow you to access other resources. Okay. Um, but for some of you, it's simply that uh, you have been uh, interested in somebody and they come forth around the latter part of August, around the third part of August. But in between, you've met somebody else and you've decided to go with them for a while. And uh, as you come to the third week of August, you are in confusion uh, about what to do with this message that you've received. Um, regardless, as you come to the end of August, all of this will be wiped clean. The slate will be wiped clean. Yes, you will have these options available, but you will be the one who decides what it is that you do and how it is that you will do it because your luck will change. You will have the ability to make the decisions, the empowerment necessary to be able to make the decisions needed. And you can decide what it is that you want. However, I do feel that as you start the month of August, you're going to be quite um, you're going to feel quite romantic. You perhaps are going to feel quite um, in love in some, for some of you. And as you end the month in, in August, you're going to have quite a pragmatic view of things. And you that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's actually quite a good thing. Uh, but I don't, at least I see it being a good thing in your, in your reading. And you are going to make decisions where you, you are using your head and not your heart, but being able to look after your heart in the same process. Okay, I think that the, there's so much going on for those of you who've chosen this uh, option here in August that there, it's not covered in all these cards. I do think that there's quite a lot of information coming to you as you in the second and third week of uh, August. There's quite a lot. You might have uh, people coming to you, coming, leaving you, not leaving you in a bad way, but people come to visit and leaving. You might have decisions that need to be taken as far as travel is concerned around the third week of August. Regardless, you are going to be successful uh, over what you're doing. If you've begun the month feeling like you are spending too much, as you end, uh, as you end the month, you're going to find that you don't have any of those worries whatsoever. Uh, if you have started the month in love with someone and you have decided to go with somebody else, you're going to find that you're going to be able to make a very clear decision with regard to what is happening in your life as you come to the third and the fourth week of. August because you're going to find you have a lot more information and you're in a better state to be able to make certain decisions with regard to that okay so there's quite a lot going on for you in August but it's all very good and it looks very playful as well it looks like you can have quite a lot of fun and you won't you will be able to land on your feet regardless of what you do in August you'll still be able to land on your feet and it will be fine so you can go ahead and take those risks and do what it is that you truly desire and what it is that you feel like doing quite impulsively and you will be fine uh, regardless. Okay, so I wish you a fa fabulous August. It looks like it's going to be a fantastic month for you and many, many blessings for you all. May you have a quite a, an abundant and health, uh, healthy and a safe August and um, wishing you um, many blessings from Kismet Rising. Blessings abound uh, from Kismet Rising.